Hi, this is Cookie. This mini tutorial is going to show you how to make a mock LCD board using the uh, volume effector. What you can see there is what we're going to end up doing. Right, first of all, we need to make our board. I'm going to use spheres for this. I think they look a bit more interesting than uh, using cubes. I'm going to set the uh, radius to 50. Hold down Alt and grab a MoGraph cloner. Set it to grid array. I'm going to change my count to 50 in the X, 10 on the Y, and 1 on the Z. And change the dimensions to 5000 by 1000. And that gives us our basic board. Right, now we need some type. So go up to the uh, splines make a bit of text and obviously I'm going to do cookie on there now for a font you want something fairly bold and just to be easy one that everyone's got I'm going to use Gil bold now the size of this needs to come down so that it's going to cover a reasonable amount of um, spheres something like that's probably going to work. Now I discovered experimenting with this you actually need to extrude the text by quite a long way otherwise you end up with uh, some strange anomalies so we can hold down the alt and grab an extrude nerb and I'm just going to stick a one in front of that make it uh, 1200 so we're going to move it on the z-axis by minus 600 and you can see that it's cutting uh, through the clonospheres by a long way. Now we need to highlight the cloner object and grab MoGraph effector volume, the volume effector. Now in the volume effector we need to, in fact what I'll do is name this extrude note cookie so we know what it is, so that's the type. Then in the volume effector, uh, we will need to add the volume object, which is our cookie. So that's what we want to affect it. So we'll turn the lettering off now uh, by Alt, double click on there so it becomes invisible. You need to leave it active, so don't turn off the, um, the tick there. And you can see it looks as though nothing's happening. Uh, but if you go into the parameters here and uh, alter anything really, we turn scale off because we're going to be using colour. If you turn colour on, there you go. You can see that it is uh, is indeed affecting the colour. Now by default it comes in as black and white. If you grab the uh, you can see there, it's affecting just wherever the uh, volume of the lettering goes through the cloner, which is why it's the uh, volume effector. Now to get the colour on there, make a new material. We do this in the colour channel just to show how it works. Under the uh, texture tab, go to MoGraph, and we want the multi shader. Click open that uh, long bar there to bring up the menu for the two shaders. Uh, shader one will be the background colour. We'll just choose colour, so we we'll keep it nice and easy. So I like using these crayon colours, they're nice and bright and it saves having to muck about with uh, lots of values. So I'm going to use purple for the background. Go back and for the second colour choose my crayon orange. There we go. Now drop that onto the Owner object, and uh, that's it. Job done. Then all you need to do is to um, not move the clone object, animate the uh, text object, and away you go.
I think this is a display anomaly going on there. <laughs> just confusing me for a bit. I think this machine's not quite capable enough. You have to turn on the uh, enhanced OpenGL to actually view it, which is a bit uh, obviously needs a bit more power. So although it'll render absolutely fine, it's obviously struggling to uh, actually display that in real time. But there it is. One moves with the other, and uh, then you can create your nice little animations. Thanks for watching. See you later.